We've had a really tough, probably six months. Um, we, for example, here have been feeding for four months. We don't have any pasture left. We do have farming country, which has got uh, stubble and loose chickpea on it. Uh, but no, as far as cover, any pasture, no, it's gone. I came across one day, not long after we'd started to feed, I found that I had 12 dead sheep. What I was concerned about was whether, one, I had twin lamb sickness, uh, two, whether there might have been some disease that was causing a problem, um, and three, whether I'd actually overfed them. I immediately got in touch with the local land service, who were great because they sent someone out straight away, uh, a fully qualified vet, and we did an autopsy on uh, all of the sheep, pretty much. We subsequently found that it was my fault that I'd overfed the stock and I, I must admit it was one, it was a relief that we didn't have a disease problem um, and um, clearly then I was just annoyed at myself. For me it was a massive help because um, uh, it is difficult on your own to be able to make those sort of assessments and to have someone come in and say, no, look, you're going fine. You know, it, it gives you a real boost of confidence. The trouble with drought is, as you well know, is it's, it's, it's not necessarily demanding physically, it's incredibly demanding mentally. And uh, I think that's been a massive strain on, on everybody. Across the state, local land services are providing these absolutely essential services to us all out there on the land who are sole operators and we have to make a lot of decisions about our animal welfare being one and also it amounts to a lot of money and uh, they're very important decisions and to get that, uh, that practical advice from the local land services is fantastic. Yeah, just the expertise, um, the guidance um, and the level of confidence it's given me to, to get through a pretty tough time and for that I'm incredibly grateful. <laughs>